at me riding in the LAV. Oh yeah, look at me riding in the LAV like a boss. Look at me poning all these noobs like a something. Okay, okay, commentary time. Hey, what's up guys? Midnight Club Gamer. And we're doing some more Battlefield 3 on the PC. I'm sorry about the bad singing. That won't happen again, maybe. Can't promise anything. We're doing some Karg Island Rush. And we are going to be talking about how to use a tank, or how I like to use a tank. Uh, playing with uh, different server amounts for, uh, I guess it was, this would count for PC. Uh, the difference between playing with 24 players and then the crazy maps like uh, 64, 32v32. And uh, you play a little bit differently. And also the routes I take, the rounds, and some other stuff. So, let's get right into it. This is the first set of MCOMs here. And as you can see, I'm in the LAV and I am driving it at the moment. And I pretty much just went for the left-hand flank on the left side. Uh, one of the most important things to remember is the LAVs suck in the water. So get the LAVs out of the water as fast as you can. Uh, there's really no point in sitting back, being a noob, and lobbing shots from long range because you're not doing a lot of anything for your team. Okay, so... When I like to use a tank, um, this is this is 12 versus 12, I think it might be 16 v 16, but it is a small player size uh, game mode that I'm in right now, and I'm going to tell you why I like playing with less people when I'm on my own. I don't have any squad mates that I know, I'm just playing by myself, and I like playing with less people because what you do yourself affects the outplay, outcome of the game a lot more than if you're playing with uh, 31 blueberries and that you know it, it makes sense so uh, we take the first two MCOMs there really fast so I went for the left flank with the tank and basically I just kinda sat on that roadway on the left side and just started gunning down people um, that were pretty much almost in the spawn zone there um, so it cut them off from the actual MCOM so while they were distracted with me it allowed my teammates to push up uh, arm those MCOMs and we got first base really easily. Now this is a second base. I get out to repair the LA LAV so uh, some guy in my squad spawned, got in the LAV. Now he's driving. I don't care if somebody takes the tank as long as they're a good driver and this guy was this guy's pretty good. You know he was doing he was doing what you need to do. You need to push up with the tank. Don't sit back like a noob and uh, and uh, and be a scaredy cat from long range. You're in a freaking massive case of metal. Come on now. But, uh, so right here, this is the second set of MCOMs. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still, I'm still gunning down people. I'm in the gunner position now. So what you gotta watch out for is people up on that hill there that I'm looking at right about, nah, not really now. But, uh, up in the back side there, you know what I'm talking about, where they spawn. They come over the edge. Gotta watch out for people up there. There's gonna be a lot of snipers, a lot of people trying to take it with rockets. Uh, they can set up so flams up there. And there's also a uh, rocket launcher up on the hill. You gotta watch for that too. Actually, get a guy right around here. Uh, they spawn and try to get up on that snow flame, like that guy right there, right now that I'm trying to get. I don't know if I get him or not. So you gotta watch out for stuff like that. And and once again, when you're taking out people near the spawn, like that's where they spawn up there. If they're all concentrated on your LAV, it's really easy for your teammates to come in from behind and just start arming the MCOMs. Um, it's all about distraction with tanks. Um, you can take a lot of tanks and distract people. Let your, yeah, let your infantry come in and uh, arm those objectives. Now you can play it either way. Obviously, I'm being the uh, the uh, kind of more support right now. You know, I'm just gunning down people and stuff like that. But if you don't like doing that, you can be the infantry side of things and uh, go in for the MCOM arms. Just make sure that you uh, have a strong squad or you do have people in the tanks that are uh, being uh, kind of like cover fire and, and distracting. Getting rammed by the Amtrak, because that's what the Amtraks like to do. So uh, we take these uh, Amcoms pretty quick as well. So as you can see now, we got the third set coming up here. And uh, basically this route, I just took it right down the road. You're going to take different routes um, when you're playing on different size servers. This is um, obviously 12v12, so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the same size as you'll be playing on for the uh, PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 as well. Uh, fast forward this part like, like freaking, I don't know, Formula 1. Formula, going hard. Going, that LAV almost went faster than a Formula 1 car right there. But uh, basically now with the tank, going for the uh, right hand side. Um, 
you, we make a mistake right here. This guy right here, the guy who's driving my tank, uh, don't push this far back into the spawn. Right now, as you can see, this is bad. This is bad. Not only, like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, you're distracting the enemy slightly, but there's still enemies out front that are that are taking down our infantry units. This guy just pushed way up too far and uh, back on the base. There was a bunch of people out back. They had rockets. They took us down. That's not what you want to do. When I say push up with the tank, I don't mean push up so far that when some enemy spawns, he's like, ooh, look, a tank. You know, like, I don't want you to be that far up in the base. I want you to be, you know, near near the MCOMs or, you know, just around in that area. Don't go any further than where I am right now uh, for these MCOMs, uh, especially in a tank. So we're on the infantry section now. I'm not going to get back in a tank. Uh, oh, yes, I am going to get an Amtrak up here, but uh, super fast mode again. I am using the ACW Holographic Suppressed uh, for this game mode and going to repair for the Amtrak now, but uh, I guess now would be a good time for the question of the video and my question is what is your favorite player uh, server count to play on? So what I mean by that, do you like playing on uh, a 24 player server, 64, 32, 48, you know what I'm saying. Uh, which one do you like the most? Put down in the comments below and uh, we will see which one is the most popular. Now, if you want to know what my opinion is, um, it's really on what I'm feeling at the moment. But, uh, you know, if I want some heavy carnage, obviously go for the 64 players. And uh, if, if you want to just go, you know, play by yourself, you know, smaller server, maybe 24 or 32 player. I like balance, so I would say I like anything in between 32 player and uh, 48 so I like that around there and that's my opinion on the player counts going so uh, these is this is the last two sets of MCOMs here and uh, with the small player count that we're in right now as you can see I'm getting getting some carnage going on the Amtrak and my uh, my blueberry does a rookie mistake here didn't get mad at him because it makes sense. Backed right into the oil tank and we blew up and had some bad luck. As Battlefield likes to point out, every freaking time you fail. Hardcore, like you didn't realize already that you, you just sucked. But uh, yeah, so we're going for left side flank once again. Um, so right back from the beginning, left side flank with the tank. Um, pretty much left side on the second set of MCOMs. Left side weave over to the right and uh, with the tank on that, and then for the last seven comms, go on the left side again. Pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go through the left side, weave through these crates here, and the reason I like going the left side is you have a lot of cover with those crates right there. Now, the only dangerous part right here is running across that wide area, but once you get to this building right here, you should be okay. So now, the only thing you got to watch, watch out for in here is... Right side, as you can see, there's some enemies that usually hang out there. Left side window right there. Upstairs, and now we're just going to go. I'm trying to get through the window to get this MCOM arm. Got to watch that left side there. As you can saw, saw I checked. They will run through the bottom floor there to try to take you down. And uh, that is basically all you got to watch out for. You only have to watch out for like 75 different areas at one time. I mean, how hard is that? You got eyes on the back of your head. Screw it. Um, <laughs> so... One other thing off, off on the side note here, uh, I know there's a guy on here who wants to see a different, uh, a new video of my car and um, I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys know or not, but I drive, I like cars, I like car games, and I own a car in real life, I own, I own a, a 2004 Lancer and I've done some modifications over it over the summer and over the fall there and I made a video I'd say almost a year ago now, or not a year ago, six months of my Lancer when I first bought it and I've, I've put a lot of time into it so I'll make a new video of my Lancer uh, you know probably sometime soon and uh, I'll put that out for you guys as well it should be a good time that's the end of the video as you can see there team did pretty well on that one and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video guys it's been Midnight Club Gamer add me on PHHF my platoon add me on Twitter while I'll post all my videos post different stuff when I'm playing add me on Battlelog and if you want, add me on uh, on Skype. It's all the same, Midnight Club Gamer or MC Gamer, all in capital letters. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. And you never know, maybe we'll talk on Skype or something. Have a good one, guys. And as always, play hard, have fun. See you later.